For today's schedule, we are getting a head start on Yellowstone. We are gonna to go to the Upper Geyser Basin, which is the Old Faithful, and then to the Grand Prismatic. Yellowstone is a really big national park. It's 3,468.4 square miles. So for our trips, I like to divide the park up into sections and then each day we explore one of the sections. And the way I section it can vary depending on park closures. For instance, when we were there, part of the upper loop drive from Tower Roosevelt to Canyon Village was closed. So I made my sections based on that. staying in the Grand Teton National Park at Coulter Bay, so we had to wake up really early to drive the one and a half hours to Upper Geyser Basin. Uh, so this is like the only place we're going today. Old Faithful is probably Yellowstone's most famous feature, and it's definitely a must do when you're visiting the park. It erupts every 68 to 104 minutes, and when it does, water reaches 106 to 108 feet high, but it only lasts a minute and a half to five minutes. I personally don't think it's the most spectacular geyser in the park. After all, Yellowstone's home to more than half of the world's geysers. So it has a lot of competition. Oh, now we have to walk through it. And I'm not wearing my hiking shoes. We jokingly call Yellowstone the real life Jurassic Park because everything there can get you if you're not careful. And I'm naturally a nervous Nelly, so I am even more cautious walking around the park. Yeah, we're way too close to it. We saw four bison in this area and I was nervous around every single one of them. That is definitely not a football field away. That one's looking at us. Don't get any ideas.
I think Grand Geyser might be my favorite geyser. It shoots water 160 feet and higher into the air, and it lasts eight to 12 minutes, so it gives a really good show. So Castle Geyser might be another favorite geyser of mine. The water only reaches 75 feet high, but it lasts 20 minutes, and then it has a loud 30 minute steam phase afterwards. And I really like how the water cascades down the castle looking cone. So I guess I have another favorite geyser. We just happened to be at the right place at the right time when the Riverside geyser went off. And this one has such a unique view with it erupting into the Firehole River. I think the Morning Glory Pool is one of the Upper Geyser Basin's prettiest spring, but apparently the striking colors are caused by debris clogging the pool, and it's becoming more yellow over time. So there is a trail that continues past Morning Glory Pool for about a mile to the Biscuit Basin. We skipped it this year, but we did walk it last year, and it does pass by a few cool springs. From the Morning Glory Pool, we decided to turn around and walk back towards the Old Faithful Visitor Center so we could have a snack and then drive to Biscuit Basin. This rustic general store was originally built in 1897 
and the cool knotty wood porch was added in 1925. Not far from the general store is the beautiful Old Faithful Inn. It was built in 1904 and it is said to be one of the world's largest log cabins. Finally, over at the Old Faithful General Store and Grill, we got our snack. We got a delicious huckleberry float and it was the perfect unique treat to have on such a beautiful sunny day. Just a quick drive up the road from Upper Geyser Basin is Biscuit Basin. And we were lucky enough to find a place to park our RV inside the tiny little parking lot. Biscuit Basin has a short 0.6 mile boardwalk loop that passes several pools and geysers. And today it passes a tired bison as well. These pools here in Yellowstone are so beautiful. They look like artwork to me. And at the end of this video, I have a few photos that I've taken of them. At the back of the Biscuit Basin Boardwalk, there is a trail to Mystic Falls. We actually took a different trail to the falls last year, and I loved it. I mean, I loved the falls, not the trail. Because again, I'm a dramatic scaredy cat, and I thought wild animals were gonna jump out at us at any time, although they didn't, and we made it to the waterfall, and it was beautiful. I'm ready to be done with this creepy trail. I don't know. <laughs> it's very mystic. Oh, that much farther. I'm ready. This is strenuous. There it is. I see it. There's a ton of people up here. We made it back to our truck safely and are headed north just a few miles to the Midway Geyser Basin and more precisely the Fairy Falls Trail. We aren't actually going to hike to Fairy Falls, although one day we should because we haven't seen it yet, but instead we're going to do the 0.8 mile hike to the Grand Prismatic Overlook. If you look really hard in that steam, you can see some of the Grand Prismatic colors from here. Here we finally get a glimpse of the colorful spring. I don't know if I'm just more out of shape than I think I am, or if it's the elevation here in Yellowstone, but these short hikes feel awfully hard. This overhead view is spectacular, and it's definitely worth the uphill hike. You can also see the spring at ground level and it's a completely different view. 
We walked around the boardwalk last year and it was neat to see, but we just weren't as impressed as we were with the overlook view at Fairy Falls. So that's pretty much everything we did in this part of Yellowstone, although one day we did backtrack past Old Faithful so we could check out Kepler Cascades. And now that's really it. That is everything that we explored in this area. And we'll be moving to another section of Yellowstone next. So I hope we see you then. I know I am definitely not a wilderness person, but I do think I should get some credit because I am pushing myself out of my comfort zone, no matter how much I freak out or complain. Got myself on another adventure. Thought I was taking a shortcut. And I wasn't. And now I'm walking in fair country by myself. But I do have my bear spray. Finally got to civilization in one piece. Oh my gosh. And I'm exhausted. That was interesting to say the least. Holy crap. Yeah, this is a trick. All at the same time, I'm ready to be unmystified, demystified. Sorry. Oh my God, they are up. Wait, is that the lookout at that top? Not, not where we're going, right? These stairs don't make it any easier. <laughs> 